Hello, beautiful internet family. My name is Dan Davis, and I'm the creative director here at danstube.tv, as well as the Fearless Drone Academy, which is the ultimate online drone course for beginners. And today we're talking about a hot topic, which is AI, also known as artificial intelligence. And in today's video, we're talking about what does AI mean for the drone industry? AI is still very early days and it's only getting stronger and more powerful with time, which is a little bit scary, but also interesting as well. Like as long as it's reined in and relatively controlled and managed, like it could empower a lot of industries. And the drone industry is one that is going to benefit heavily from AI. But recently, ChatGPT got a lot of attention as a very powerful AI assistant that you can talk to. It can generate lots of responses. It can write articles for you, emails, all sorts of things. And you can even ask it stuff like, you know, what does AI mean for the drone industry? And it will give you a very concise response, nice and quickly. You can ask it to expand on it. You can ask it to do all sorts of things. So that's where a lot of the attention has started to come from. But there are a bunch of other pieces of software out there, AI, that can generate images and uh, create missions and plans and all sorts of crazy wild things. So I thought I would talk about how AI is being used right now in the drone space and how moving forward, they're probably gonna utilize it a lot more to get more out of the drone and the user experience. So when we look at the Mavic 3, for example, this drone recently received waypoints. Now, waypoints are a very powerful flight planning option that people can now utilize with their Mavic 3 and Mavic 3 Classic. Now, this is a very kind of basic, let's call it, even though it's very advanced, but a basic version of, I guess, what artificial intelligence can do. Because what's happening is as the drone is actually following a pathway that you've determined, the drone in real time is still tracking to make sure that there's no obstacles in the way. So it's still going to be able to avoid obstacles or stop if it notices something. And that's something that artificial intelligence is allowing the drone to do based on the sensors and the information it's receiving. It's then telling the drone to do something without the user doing anything at all. So it's powered through some form of an intelligence that is not conscious to us. Like we're not controlling it or telling it what to do. So when we look at tracking modes, for example, when we're using the A-pass mode and the obstacle avoidance as it's trying to avoid trees, it's actually mapping out the environment and telling the drone, hey, you need to go left, you need to come down, you need to move this way. So that's happening in real time. And that's a form of how artificial intelligence is being used with some of these higher end drones. But as technology improves, as there's more power crammed into these drones, more powerful you know, chips and internals are put into these drones, it means that they can be even more precise with their movements and they can be even more risk adverse. So that means that they can map out missions in real time, but as things advance, they're gonna be able to do it even more precisely and have even more power behind them. The more sensors we have on them, the faster internals we have mean that they can process things in real time and do even more interesting maneuvers with less risk and uh, more safety behind them. So that means that, you know, as they add more power to these drones, they're going to be able to do even more interesting movements and maneuvers. And us as the users are going to have less control over that because we're going to trust the drones even more as time goes on. Like when I look at the Mavic 3 and even the Mini 3 Pro, I've tested in some like really dense areas and you know, I'm jogging at times, I'm walking through very dense areas. Like I'm not moving too fast, but the drone in real time is able to react and maneuver what's going on and still keep me in focus. So let's just imagine in you know, a couple of years, how much more advanced it's gonna be and how much more confident the AI is going to be to navigate and move around obstacles without you doing anything. One thing that I would be very keen to see in the drone space is some form of image processing through AI. So there's already like image processing that's happening in real time. So for example, as it notices something that it's captured, it will try to enhance the image. So you capture an image and you'll probably look at it and go, oh, it looks a little dark. But then when you view the image back, they've pumped up the saturation or they've pumped up the brightness or they've done something to the shadows or something just to make the image stand out a little bit more. So that's a form of it in real time uh, responding to the image and then trying to improve 
improve it for you. But imagine as the advancements keep happening, like imagine that it gives you a bunch of different options. So maybe it gives you a bunch of different like processing styles or almost like filters that it puts over an image and it does it in real time and it spits out 10 variations of that or it enhances certain parts of the image or cuts out certain parts of the image or removes like maybe there's a blur somewhere so it creates more of a sharpness in that point. Like as the technology improves, as the processing improves, in real time, it's gonna be able to enhance the image even more and have even more awareness of what looks good and what people are responding more positively to. So what I mean by that is, let's say for example, that the drone itself can pick up on, okay, well this image is way too overexposed and it notices it straight away. Maybe there's a possibility that it's capturing enough images and it's got enough power behind it that it can improve the image, enhance it, and almost restore the image, even though in the moment it's overexposed and the drone hasn't captured the best shot for you. Like with all of the power of the AI and the internals, it can process it and spit out a usable image without you having to tweak it or edit it. There's also the option of like stitching lots of images together or trying to enhance certain areas. Again, like, you know, similar to when it takes lots of images to create like a globe effect. You'll notice that typically when it captures a globe, uh, the top, like the sky actually doesn't have any images created for it. So what AI could do is it could take a part of the sky and it could basically duplicate it and spread it out to create an authentic looking sky, even though it hasn't captured those images. So same concept again, it could basically be trying to enhance the image and looking out for things that are going to stand out a lot more. And it will be using the information from its database or the internet to know that you know, this is the type of image that stands out and this is what we need to do in this moment to make the image enhance or stand out. So again, this type of intelligence is something that will improve the image processing in real time, which is gonna be very impressive, especially if it can give us a bunch of different options and almost create uh, like variations in the image for us to then choose as the user, we can go with the original or we could go with the other 10 options that it immediately generates for us and gives us some very cool effects and unique kind of looks to the image. With a lot of drones nowadays, there are different third-party applications out there that give you even more control of your drone, and they're using some advanced uh, technology over there for their software. And for example, you can map out like an entire area. There's a, an application called Drone Harmony. You can map an entire area in real time based on the inputs that you've put in. So you can get it to basically generate like a mapped building, a mapped path, whatever it may be, and you put in the inputs, but then the drone does everything based on the software uh, that's kind of communicating with the drone. So as that gets more and more advanced, just imagine what's going to be able to happen. Like the AI is gonna be able to predict certain things and make sure that it's capturing everything. Like maybe, you know, you've put in inputs and you wanna map out a building, but maybe you haven't done a thorough enough job. The drone with its real-time AI is gonna go okay, well, you've actually missed the back of the building at this point here. So I'm gonna continue the mission and I'm gonna keep capturing images to make sure that we capture everything. So that's the kind of stuff in real time, that executive functioning that the AI is gonna be able to empower a lot of drone pilots to just make sure that you're doing a thorough job and you're getting more out of the process. And just to extend on that, like when we're talking about the waypoints, uh, like for example, on the Mavic 3, it has waypoints. It is an advanced offering, but as things start to improve, the AI that's built into these drones is going to start to be able to learn, learn how you fly, learn what kind of missions you enjoy, and then from the database of the internet, learn what other people are doing and what people are responding better to and what seems to yield the better res results or responses, whatever that may be. So that means that the drone in real time is gonna be able to give you recommendations and give you some ideas of how you could improve on a certain mission or you know, maybe you've done a mission, the drone's kind of analyzed it and processed it, and it's figured out ways that you can be more efficient with the mission, save battery life, uh, you know, less movement as such, but still get the same image. And it's gonna be able to process that in real time and let you know, hey, there's a better path here. Similar to with the GPS when it goes, oh, there's actually an accident up ahead, so you wanna take this path here. The drone in real time is gonna be able to give you those updates and still continue on its mission and get exactly what you want, but with improvements and with more efficiency. 
One of the main applications for AI in the drone space is going to be in the commercial space. Now, there's a lot of applications already in agriculture, search and rescue, and a bunch of other industries that are utilizing drones right now. But what I would imagine is going to happen and what's already happening is that certain companies will start developing AI for their specific needs. So for example, in Australia, there are a lot of sharks that swim along the coastline where people are swimming. Now there are drones out there with AI, with technology, that's actually able to identify sharks and the drone is able to process exactly what that shark is. So instead of just the pilot flying around aimlessly and go, oh, there's a shark there, I need to let them know. The drone is gonna be able to identify the shark, tell you exactly what the species is, and then send that information immediately to whoever it is, a lifeguard, someone on the ground, whoever it may be, and that's going to save lives. So that's like a real use case scenario of how AI moving forward can be utilized for specific industries with needs that are unique to them. Another example of this is drone delivery. Now this is becoming more popular all over the world. I know they're starting to use it more in Australia, but companies like Amazon are delivering packages, delivering food, whatever it may be, to your house. Now, a lot of the time this is automated. It isn't controlled necessarily by a person. Like, yes, there are people overseeing it and they can you know, override certain things, but the drone ultimately is doing it all on its own based on AI, based on what it's picking up in the environment, based on you know, how it thinks it should do certain things. It's going to be doing that based on an algorithm and based on um, artificial intelligence. So moving forward, that's just gonna become more safe, hopefully, uh, more reliable, more consistent, and more efficient. And it's again gonna be able to pick up on the environment, any obstacles in the way, and fly accordingly, you know, like adjust its flight path and make sure that it is safe in the environment. Some of those examples can then extend out to other industries. So in that commercial space, firefighters, like first responders, you know, we've got like the search and rescue we mentioned, uh, you've got lifeguards or people who are monitoring for sharks. You know, so many different industries, agriculture even, uh, benefit from drone use. So AI is gonna be integrated on, I would imagine more of a specific use case scenario where it's going to be developed and then improved on for specific needs. So that's definitely already happening and is only going to uh, increase in popularity as AI becomes more accessible and more affordable as well to integrate into this kind of software and hardware space that is becoming extremely exciting, but also terrifying at the same time. And then going back to the consumer space, because I guess that's where I'm really interested and that's the space that I'm in myself. Um, for me, I do want to see AI intelligent flight modes. So when you think about the intelligent flight modes we have already, if you draw a box around something and you go, all right, do a droney maneuver for me, it's gonna do the droney maneuver. Now that's great and it does the job. And with master shots, that's another advancement again, where you draw a box and it just goes, all right, we're gonna do this maneuver and then this maneuver and it just kind of does it for you which is very impressive but it's limited to the programmed maneuvers that you put in but imagine if the artificial intelligence was intelligent enough that it could go okay i'm seeing that there's this thing here that could look really good in the foreground so i'm gonna move to this location here and i'm gonna do like a sweeping motion because i want that to be in the foreground and then the background to kind of focus in and be the the focus after we've moved away from the foreground focus but then it goes another step even further so imagine if it then controls the focus point so it focuses in on the foreground and creates that blurry bokeh effect in the background and then as it moves away from that obstacle it then focuses in on the background so that's something that's going to be very hard as a pilot to control all of that happening but imagine if the artificial intelligence just does that because it goes okay that's going to be a very interesting shot and obviously it's got approval from the human and it just does that and creates a focus effect as you're moving around and it's just creating a very unique perspective but maybe it can then incorporate zooming as well it can incorporate different maneuvers and also it's gonna be very aware of its environment and mapping out the environment for you. Um, so we can literally scan an area for you and even give you suggestions, you know, based on what we can see in this area, these kind of maneuvers or these kind of intelligent flight modes, these kind of flight paths are going to yield this kind of result. And it could even map it out for you in a 3D model. And it could show you this is theoretically what the preview is going to look like like that is going to happen at some point. If there's a need for it, there's already the option to do it. It's just whether, you know, that's the pathway that we're gonna go down. But that's the kind of advancement that 
I would expect at some point, um, but definitely more advancement in like the intelligent flight modes would be very cool, where they're kind of dynamic on the fly maneuvers that update you in real time as to, hey, this is something we could do. Do you want us to do that? That would be wild. And then just on that safety note as well. So with all of those things advancing, another thing that would be great is if the drones became more aware of maintenance and repair side of things. So if the AI could pick up on certain defects, if it was aware of like, some errors that are coming through that could impact on certain things, or maybe it's able to scan, you know, the internet for other common errors that are popping up and common fixes. It could then pop up in real time and let you know what the problem is and how you could fix it. That would be great. It would also be great if it connected with like local drone stores and let you know like the closest repair space or what kind of maintenance things that you could do as the user. Like those kind of real-time suggestions based on what's going on would also be a major benefit here. So honestly, like the options are endless. The potential is endless here. And a lot of these things I've spoken about today might not see the light of day, you know? Like some of them may see it in a more basic version. It may not be as advanced as I was saying. I would imagine that the commercial space is gonna be the one that's pumping money into AI, but we're still gonna see that trickle down into the consumer space. And we're already seeing AI in some form as it's, you know, as your drones are maneuvering around obstacles, mapping out the world and avoiding it, that's still a form of artificial intelligence. Like that's not someone at DJI going, oh, there's a tree, go left. And you know, you're not putting in those inputs. The drone is figuring that out based on the unique environment that you're putting it in. So that's only going to get more advanced and more impressive. Um, so that's kind of my thoughts on AI and how it's gonna integrate with the drone space. I would love your thoughts though. Is there anything I've missed? anything you want to expand on, let's have a chat in the comments below and I will chat to you in the next video. Peace.